your boy Mastable27 here. We are in the Lunar Event. The Lunar Event is here in Pokemon Go. And we'll just take it down and make a Gyarados raid as we start this edition of Mega Gyarados is now for new Mega Pokemon available in raid battles in Pokemon Go, which is pretty exciting at all. You can capture a shiny one from the raid, which is very unlikely, but this is gonna be my first one that we've done so far. You can also get shiny Gyarados in the wild, as well as an array of other spawns for this event. But the one thing this one all hinges around is the increased chance of lucky friendship. Lucky friends opportunities have been increased, which is obviously nice. We need to save some of these lucky trades. Hopefully when we get long distance, long distance trading, that will become a thing of reality. Oh, my Pokemon have fainted. That's a shame. <laughs> oh dear. Whoa, avoid that one there. But let's go in. I'm trying to get a bit of shelter actually because it is so cold today here in the United Kingdom. But like I promised you on my last edition when we got the shiny mill tank, which was absolutely amazing. We got the blue nip nips, which was absolutely brilliant and something I did not expect. Certainly in the last minute of that spotlight hour. We're here now on the Lunar Event. The Lunar Event is with us for a little bit. We're going to skirt through the details after we've taken down this Mega Gyarados raid. And let's be brutally honest with you, that's because I've probably forgotten some of them. And we're going to have a good run through that. So Mega Gyarados is nearly down. You keep saying that as the time is getting very close to the last minute. But we're nearly there now. We're nearly there now. We're nearly there. We're nearly now there. So in raids, we've got Latias and Latias. They're both back in five-star raids which is obviously very really cool. I've got both the Shiners on those, but another great opportunity for those who haven't got it. And there it is, Mega Gyarados is down. We've got it there. There's an exclusive research that's gone alongside this Lunar event that actually gives you enough Mega Energy to fully Mega Evolve a Gyarados, which is a really nice touch there. So you don't have to do the raids, but I wanted to do one and capture it here on this edition. Here we go on one and two. We've got a little bit more energy there on three. Is it going to be shiny? It's not shiny. It's a normal Gyarados. It's 1900. We're going to catch this one and then we're going to do an evolution to make a Gyarados. That's something I really wanted to capture in this. You guys absolutely know how much I like to capture these things. Second ball on there. Great curveball throw. You know what I like to do. As you can see in the bottom corner, we are making our way on the level 45 research task as well. I'll show you how we're doing on progress to level 46 as well. But this one is going to be a short one. We're going to skirt through the lunar event details slightly. So let's check that one quickly. It's okay. It's okay. Now I do have a hundo Gyarados. However, as you guys know with me, I'm a little bit of a, I like shiny dex entries and, and let's face it, Gyarados, it, it looks amazing, Mega Evolved. So let me just do an appraisal check on this one. It's not great, it's two star. You can see here though, I've got a, a zero star one there, which is something I'm proud of, a <laughs> zero star one. And we do have the hundo there, which I've actually maxed out. Um, well, I did max it out until we got up to, obviously to level 50. But for the purpose of this edition, we're going to Mega Revolve the shiny one. I'm going to hate this. It's probably going to be a waste of Mega Energy. But we're going to Mega Revolve it because actually it's a really freaking awesome shiny. And it's an amazing Mega Revolution. There it is, Mega Gyarados in the red. Absolutely love it. I almost registered to the Mega Pokedex. I like to do shiny editions because they all sit there as well in, in the Pokedex. And look at that absolutely stunning Pokemon. Mega Gyarados, shiny, is now there in the decks, which is brilliant. So we've done that one. That is great. What oh, a great start to this edition of Pokemon Go. So what are we going to talk about? Well, I'm going to whack an incense on because I'm actually aware that I've not put one on yet. We're going to whack that incense on there. And I'm going to show you what happened. In the last edition, you saw us hit level 45. Well, we've done one of the four already now. So we've done the 50 excellent throws. That much is done. We've got to complete 100 research tasks, which we're a fifth of the way there now, which is good. We're on to day three, which we've done today of snapping a Pokemon seven days in a row. So obviously we've got a little bit of time. We're going to have to wait to do that. And we've got to hatch 30 eggs. I've done four of them already. I'm not going to be rushing that. We've got the XP already for level 46. So that much is cool. It also, a couple of shiny checks on the Magikarps. I did get a shiny as part of this Lunar event which I'm going to share with you in a minute. So that's pretty exciting. We've also got the level 45 research special task, which you've got Papo going up 45 times. We'll do that one very easily. We're not going to do that on this edition. No need to, because we still haven't done the nice throws yet. All the poker stops, but we're not far from them. 42 of 45 and 185 of 450. That's really cool. So we've made great progress on that. Oh, it's cold. It's so cold. My hands are freezing. 
My hands are freezing. I know a lot of people have been commenting on this. It's so hard to produce content outdoors when the weather's like this. Right, so let's quickly skirt over the details because I'm pretty aware that I've missed a few of them. But this lunar event is what it's all about. So it started on February the 9th. It runs through to Sunday, February the 14th. So you'll catch the end of it on as you watch this one. So that's at the weekend coming up now. But yeah, I'm not going to run through all the details because you all know that you're already playing this event. But we had a great field research task which ran alongside it and it gave us the encounter with Toro. Actually, in fact, it was a four stage research. Two and four gave us encounters with Toro, an opportunity to get a shiny on there. I didn't get a shiny on it, which was, you know, I've already got one. I hatched one from the seven kilometer eggs when that event came out. That's going back quite a while ago, actually, think about it, when all the regionals were in there. But yeah, Taurus was um, the one that was in there, but I did get a shiny of it, and I'll put that one up on the screen for you to see. I did hatch that one, though, and that one, when was that? Goodness gracious, that was in 2019, two years ago, well, a year and a half ago, anyway. So yeah, there it is. So we did get shiny Taurus, but not in that, not in this event. So the lunar event is gonna be coming to an end. We're gonna talk on Valentine's event later, but not on this edition, because that's something else, which is great. But I've got some exciting news for you. The podcast, the podcast, you've probably seen some cryptic tweets out there on Twitter. As cheek, oh, Graham, my mate, has invited me to a raid there. We're not going to do that one, unfortunately, as part of this edition. But we have, we're going to be filming it tonight. So the incensed podcast I can officially announce on the channel is going to be recorded starting tonight. The pilot edition will be recorded. And I'm going to reveal on the channel who's going to be doing it with me. So we've got four UK content creators, including myself. We've got, you'll know some of these guys. You've got my mate Ian Waterfall. Hopefully you all know Ian from some of the collaborations we've done before on Community Days. I met Ian in Dortmund. We've got Pogamilo UK. Pogamilo UK, based down in London. He does some great satirical um, additions, a focus around Niantic, but he's a very good on PvP. He's very, very good on raid battles. And all of that, just some great content, another UK content creator. And we've also got the one and only Casual Coops, Coopsy from London, Casual Coops. You will all know him as well. I've shared him on the channel and we've had some great banter. And that will, he is the fourth person, including myself, that's going to be filming the Incensed Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Incensed Podcast. But yes, that's going to be very separate to the channels, just so you all know. But I want to announce that on the channel and be one of the first to do it so you know who's going to be on it and what to expect. That all, should all be well be released on all good podcast, um, all good podcast platforms this Sunday. Now, that's Sunday the 14th of February. So there we go. Right, so we wrap this edition up now, but we're going to share with you some shinies. <laughs> For those who haven't quite uh, followed me or know exactly what we did. So I did get a tentacle. I didn't talk about this. I put it on Twitter, actually, at Massive underscore 27. Uh, I did get a tentacle on the guaranteed um, spawn for the daily spawn. Uh, that was really cool. So we did get one, and people have asked me, what is that? Well, every day you get a white circle around the Pokemon. It appears every day. You could be anywhere in the world, and even if there's not a spawn point there, you get a guaranteed spawn. So we got it, and we got a shiny tentacle, which is pretty cool. We then obviously um, had the Roselia day, and we actually ended up on 15 shinies. My hands are frozen, they are. I hatched a Badoo. Oh, God, I can't feel my fingers. There it was, Badoo, absolutely amazing. Uh, and then we got the Roselias there, and, and there's a lot of them, like I said. Oh, God, I can't feel my hands. I'm going to wrap this one up very quickly. I'm seriously, it's about minus four degrees at the moment here. We got Mill Tank on number 356, not as much as Milo, but we got it there right at the end, and my thumb is about to drop off. I'm literally going to have to end this one, guys. And there we go, Chimchar was the first shiny on this lunar event. And there it is. Well, that is it. It is literally a wrap. I've got to go because my hands are freezing. Final check of the Magic Carp, which isn't shiny. And I will see you all guys soon. Hopefully you enjoy the podcast when that goes live. Please be honest. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to working together with these amazing guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for checking this one out. Be safe. Got Valentine's event coming up soon. It, it, hopefully it's not as bad as it sounds. Right. See you later, gang.